See, that's what you are on the inside, and the motivation to become that is fake. Right. I say all that to say, I know what it feels like to literally be crushed, okay? Addressed. When night has fallen, when fear is coming, still. God's awesome. God's awesome. Due to the fact that. He's planning to do amazing things with everybody. I was playing with the Uno cards. <laughs> Me and Ken, now we got to spit some bars. Yeah. Oh, I'm in the presence of the Lord. Small hey. finger go pray. Oh, Come on, go. We're hey. getting right back. No more going back to my old way. What's going on, guys? My name is Kendall. For TBI, you know, I drink a lot. Like... I drink a lot. If I was bored, I would drink. If I wanted to have fun, I would drink. If I lost a game of basketball, I would just go drink. Like, it was just drink, drink, drink. I signed up and got accepted, and I came here. And, like, just TBI's, not only, like, I don't drink no more, but I have a newfound respect on life. And, like, just, like, how God actually loves me. Like, how his love is unconditional. So that, and, like, this TBI, just the people here, like, there's no like outside like pressure. It's just everyone's here for the same reason, and that's getting to know God and to find your purpose in life. Uh, my name is Jasmine, and some people, most people call me Jazzy. But how I found out about TBI is actually I've been here for many DC camps and many women's fall retreats. For TBI, I was broken and full of anger, full of rage, um, couldn't let, like, couldn't be vulnerable, um, didn't really know what a relationship with Jesus was, and after I came here, after TBI, and ever, after everything, God's really made me vulnerable, and He's taken that brokenness away, and He's healed me completely, and He's given me freedom, and so that's been awesome. It's everything you ever want, it's everything you ever want.
but I was the type of child who always felt the need to be accepted, especially when it came towards men. I had to feel um, the approval of work. I was in a place where I just felt empty. I came to a point in my life where I needed that time with Jesus. I needed to draw near to him. And somehow TBI just fell into place. And I was the type of person who always felt like I needed to do justice for myself. I needed to be my own defender. And it was here where I learned that God is my defender and he will always make right by him, not by my own self, but he will make victory happen. <laughs> and I want to talk about my favorite part of being here at Texas Bible Institute and that is the devotional times. We call it Devo here and it happens three times a day. It happens 7.30 to 8.30, 2 to 3, and 9 to 10. And I can say that's the biggest part that shapes my experience here at TBI because just taking that time to seek the Lord and seek Jesus and He just shows you so, so many amazing things in His Word. It's almost like a treasure hunt. You keep on finding things in the Word and He just keeps on reassuring you of His goodness and His love. And out of everything here in the whole of TBI, this is the best part. So definitely dive into the Word and I encourage you to do Devo. You don't have a purpose in the world or if you don't you know what you you need to do in life, come to TBI. If uh, your parents don't want you to come to TBI, you come to TBI. It's my heart to love everybody here. Um, I'm a very giving person. I have, I grew more in, with God. Love covers all. And no matter what we do in life, in life and every single day, the Bible says that if we do all this stuff, but if we don't have love, then we don't have it. creator of this video and I attended TBI and I've never regretted it and I will come and do it all over again if I have to so this is to encourage you to come to Texas Bible Institute and come have your life radically changed by Jesus Christ and the Holy Spirit <laughs>